Vishnu Daldia. Welcome back, friends. We're at Refuge Point. Jack Jack, the Night Elf Druid, is level 40, but literally about to ding into level 41. We've pretty much completed all the viable quests in this area. There is a quest here to pick up the Azure Agate. I'm just not sure how tricky that is. Maybe it can be done with stealth. Maybe not. And that's about it. Um, this quest here, Hints of a New Plague, is really annoying and I'm not going to go back and try and do it again. There is something I would like to do. I know there's a little vendor in Stromgard Keep. So I'm going to see if I can prowl into the keep and get to the vendor and see if he sells any special recipes that I could sell in the auction house. I may try and have a look at this quest in there, an Azure Agate. It might be doable by stealth, I'm just not sure, so we'll have a look at that quest. It's ranked as an elite. I'm just going to read the quest description. Okay, looks like the shaman have them on them, on their person, so maybe I can't do it. I don't think I can beat a shaman elite at this point. I'm not sure, maybe I can, I'm, maybe I'm underestimating my abilities. Anyway, irrespectively, I'm going to sneak into the keep anyway and see if I can get the recipe, or any recipes I should say, from the vendor. I might not even have to sneak in. This is an alliance keep after all. However, there are not so friendly creatures in there as well. I just can't remember where they are, so we'll see. Might just dismount now. Okay. Entering cautiously. Just going to go into cat form. Okay. There's um, one of the warlocks. There's a prowler as well. They're lower level, so that's pretty good. These guys here, on the other hand, are alliance. I wonder if they would take out a mob for me if I pulled one over. Hard to know. Now, how do we get to this vendor? It's been a long, long time since I actually went to this vendor. I don't even remember really where they are. I thought they were sort of in the wall somehow, in the castle walls. Let's have a look anyway. I can prowl for humans. There's a prince in the sanctum. I don't think the vendor's here. Just having a bit of an explore, really. Maybe here, or maybe downstairs in the crypt. I somehow doubt it, but let's see. I hope there's no creatures down here who's going to kill me. No. I feel like I can pop out of stealth safely. Okay, take a Nevlin. Okay, maybe I'm on the wrong side of the keep, we'll see, just running around exploring for this, for this time. Okay, dead end, when I go into cat form, I can actually see with my cat radar, 
people. But Denim Walker, is it Denim? I don't know. We'll see. Storm Guard Vindicators. Maybe it's upstairs. I don't really know where I'm going, to be honest. I'm just running around aimlessly. Which can be fun as well. Let's go in here. It's a troll hunter. Very good. Vindicators. I guess I expect the merchants to be in a building somewhere. Although, they don't necessarily have to be there, I suppose. All these buildings are boarded up. Okay. Just going to go into a travel form. I somehow have in the back of my distant memories that the vendor was inside a wall. Hmm. Okay. I'm giving up. Let's go back to the entrance. Maybe I'll see a passageway somewhere. Go back to Prowl. I love the um, spiked corpses, by the way. Let's take a little prowl down this way. We've got some trolls. Really needs a group to come into this place to blast through it. Gotta watch out for those prowling ninjas, like that one over there. That's somehow where I thought I would find the vendor. Up in there. I guess not. Okay, onwards we go. It's probably time to look at the map. And see where we can go questing. I think I'm going to go back to Stranglethorn. I'm all the way up north here. So I'm going to go ahead and mount up, go back to Refuge Point, jump on a griffin, and fly down to Stranglethorn Vale. I'm literally one quest or two kills of dinging to 41. 41's a pretty good level to be for Southern Stranglethorn. Apologies for the noises in the background here. There's currently a storm overhead. You might even hear a tree crash to the ground. Just take it in as the ambient sound of the game, if you like. This is a fairly long flight, so I'm going to pause the video and fly down to Stranglethorn 
Thank you, Cedric. Down to Booty Bay. See you soon. Welcome back. Here we are, flying into Booty Bay. Love that little statue on the island there. Presumably of the great leader of Booty Bay, who I don't know, a goblin. Booty Bay is one of my favourite little places in the game. So quirky, so funny, <laughs> with all the brawlers that get drunk and lie around sleeping. Okay, so there's some quests to pick up here and see if I've got anything in my mailbox. I do. I've got some sales, successful sales, which is always nice to see. And the usual suspects of things that are not selling at all. Might have to think long and hard about reposting some of that stuff on the auction house. Maybe just sell it at the vendor. Okay, so I'm not going to go with that quest. Tran wreck. Okay, let's do that quest. Not sure where Tran wreck is. Blood sale buccaneers. No. Sunken treasure. There we go. Deliver the something or other letter to Shakes in Arathi Highlands. Oh god, I'm not sure if I'm getting back to the Arathi Highlands anytime soon anyway. Let's go back to the talent tree. We've just got a new talent point to spend. And where to spend it is the is the question. So this is a really nice ability. I can cast fairy fire whilst I'm in cat form. And savage fury increases the damage, which is another really good spell. I'm probably going to go ahead and get both of them at some point. But for now, I think I'm going to go with fairy fire feral. Fairy fire feral. Feral, let's see now where it is in the spellbook. Okay, that's good. That means when I'm fighting in my cat form, I can cast this on the enemy, lowering their enemy, uh, <laughs> lowering their armor, sorry, which is good. Okay, um, questing, we need to pick up a few quests. I'm going to jump down here. There's quest givers kind of everywhere. Might just sell some junk first over here at Jutak, the blade trader. Okay, Got lots of junk actually. More than I realized. Naga scales occasionally sell. Hmm. Need to put my headband back on. There we go. I've got quite a lot of things to sell in my bags at the moment. Okay. Now that's out of the way. Let's go down to the tavern here. Whiskey Slim's Lost Grog. I think that's way too high a level for me. No, I need to hand in back to Booty Bay. Hmm. Not sure what happened there. Adventure Company Mining. No, what's this other quest? Zanzil's Secret. Bring 12 samples of Zanzil's Mixture. Not sure what level that quest is. That was too high a level. Stully's Dead. Voodoo Doos. Oh, I could do Arakiris Ar by the bundle now. It's probably quite doable. Let's take on that quest. 
approaching Sash. Now this question here I think is too high level voodoo dues and Stolly's debt. I'll come back in a couple of levels. And this is Stranglethorn Fever. I can't remember what that quest is about. well. I think that is it for the time being, unless there's some quests up here. No. Favour for Krasik. Where was the favour for Krasik? That was upstairs. Okay, let's get on with some questing now. So we'll go into a bit of a sprint. And then we'll go, I think we'll go south first. And try and do Acurus, Acurus by the bundle. Acurus, strange word. I might actually buff up a little bit here. Wolf Hunter Runin. Hunters can solo high level content a lot more easily than Druids can. Okay. Let's see if anyone's going to follow me down here. I might pick off a few singles while I'm here. We're going to use the new Fairy Fire ability. The thing to be mindful of is these guys do run. Okay, that's no good. Oh, the hunter's helping me out. Let's give that hunter a buff. sit here and I'm going to have a little drink. Okay, I guess I'm not going to sit there for very long. Hit him with a fairy fire. Let the energy build up. Loving this new fairy fire. Feral fairy fire spell. And break back on him. That hunter is going to try and solo that content. Not sure if he really wants any help with that. Okay, let's help him out. for the day complete. Maybe level 36 is chancing his luck a little bit, to be honest. Even though hunters are very good at soloing, it might just be a smidge above his pay grade. Okay, so my new opening moves are Ravage, Fairy Fire, Rake, Claw, and then Apply the rip. That's our mages. They're okay one to one. 
Oh, huge opening move. Might even just bite her. Just like that. Let's come around behind and ravage. Fairy fire, rake, claw, then bite. Wow. Becoming quite the effective killing machine as my level goes up. Now we're heading to a little bit of a different zone here. This is where there are Nagas. Ooh, 44. Not sure if I can be dealing with level 44s. Even 43 is a bit of a, a stretch. And he sensed my presence. I'm going to go around behind him. Maybe 44 is okay if I take my time. We'll see. We'll see how bad this fight is. Okay, I'm going to go for a rip and a rake. I know these guys run. Okay. Not too bad. Not too bad at all. Let's try the 44, see how it plays out. He's going to see through my stealth quite easily, so I might not be able to get the Ravage. Okay, I've got, got a good jump on him there. I've got the Fairy Fire on him. I've got a Rake. He's dodging a lot of my hits, you can see. And how's my health doing? He's kind of clobbering me. But, it seems to be not too bad actually. If I just make sure I'm taking these one at a time, it should be fairly doable. He's got a rend on me as well. Okay. So, we'll see how we go. We'll try this quest. We'll be brave. There's another 44. Just gonna wait till he stops moving around if he will stop. There we go. Senses my presence. Oh, barely got to him before he turned. Got a nice start though. A big hit with the ravage. I've got the fairy fire on him. And we're going to go for five combo points into a rip. And then we're just going to claw him down. Chase him down as well. Okay. This is doable, I've decided. And this guy here, 43, is a lot better. Just a little bit closer to him, so he senses me. And now, open with a Ravage. Into a Rake. Fairy Fire. Claw. Claw again. And then into a Rip. Back into a Rake. And he should be toast. Very doable. A 44 and a 43. Okay. Now, with this guy here, we'll start with him. There we go. Made him suspicious. I'll pull him back here a little bit, away from his friend over there. Wait for the energy to build up. Get a rake on. We've got five combo points into a rip. Let the energy build again. Another claw. Another claw. 
chasing down. It's a little bit thirsty, this work, having to pop out and throw a heel, but we're getting there. Okay, now, this guy here, just take my time, wait for him to stop. There's a guy just there as well. Oops. He's sensing me, for sure. Okay. He saw me, unfortunately. So, let's see how we go when we don't get the jump on him. Got the fairy fire. Now we've got a rake. Health's going down quite a lot. Got five combo points. Looking at my health. Oh, he's really hitting me. Okay, I had to heal up there. I'm going to go with a different strategy for the 44s, I think. I might do a, a ranged pull in future. Not my favourite opener. The other thing I've noticed too is the Acurus does not drop very well. Let's come around behind him. Open with a Ravage. Get the Fairy Fire. The fight goes a lot better if I can get the Ravage on him. And a rank. Try and get the Fairy Fire. I mean the Rip, sorry. And we'll follow him. There we go. No Acurus. Lots of experience though. Okay, so here's another 44. I need to buff up again. This time, I'm going to do a little bit of a different strategy. I'm going to pull him with a moon fire, then a fairy fire, and then drop into cat form. See if that helps a little bit. Three combos, four and a rake, got five, going straight into a rip. This seemed to go a lot better, I think. Much, much better. Hopefully he won't go off the ledge. Hmm, that was very good. I'm going to heal up level 52 warrior. They're probably going to just cruise through this area. I'm imagining. Just going to have a drink here. Okay. In with a moon fire. Fairy fire and cat form. Get the rake on it if we can. We've got two combos. Three. I go with Tiger's Fury. See if I can increase my damage output a bit. Another rake. Another claw. Rake into. Might have to do a bite. Didn't quite go according to plan there. However, got some healing potion. Okay, let's come over here. Let's see if there's another. That's a 43. I'm going to pull him the normal way. That is, I'm going to creep up behind him if I can. And go for a Ravage. And a Fairy Fire. And a Rake. Some big numbers here. Doing very well. Into the Rip. Heal up. Not 
sure where that warrior went. There's another 43. Let's see if I can come around behind him. Waiting for the energy to build up a little bit. Ooh, turned around at the last minute. Now he's caught whiff of me. Open with our Ravage into a fairy fire. Put the rake. Another rake. We've got five combos. Going to hit him with a rip. Refresh the rake. Chase him down, spamming claw. Okay, do a low cost heal. Another level 43. Should be okay. Just got to be mindful for any wandering patrols. Let's come around behind him. Open with the Ravage, pull him back a little bit. Into a rake, fairy fire. Claw. Claws are missing. There we go. Into a rip, five combo point rip. Refreshing the rake on him. Claw again and chase him down. Really terrible drop rate for the Akiris. I've only got two pieces so far. Okay, let's see if we can sneak up on this guy. Stand still for me. There we go. Let's get the fairy fire and the rake. Claw. We'll try and get a few more claws. Get the rake back on him into a rip. Let the energy build up. Wait for him to run and then hit him with claw. Some more Akiris. Just check bag space, it's looking good. Now, this little temple area can be a bit tricky, the mobs are a bit more bunched together. I wonder if I can just pull him by himself. No, is the answer. There's two. Just gonna avoid them. That's what I'm gonna do. Okay, lesson learned. Just gonna run back up. I might be able to still creep into the area, but pull a mob who's not quite clustered together. That could be my my trick. Okay. Neck many. There's one there, 44, 43. The Holy Spring, 44, 43. Let's come around here. There we go, 44. Just make sure there's no one up here. Okay, ooh, there's, those two are close together. Should be okay. I'm gonna pull him. Okay. Let's try and burn him down up here, away from his friends. Okay, claw. Doing pretty well. Gonna go for Tiger's Fury, increase the damage a bit. Five combo points, try and get a rip on him. There we go, there's a rip. So when he runs, oh, I'm gonna. No need. No need, all good. Okay, let's go back into stealth. Let's try and take this guy now. If he just turns away from me, that'll be a bit easier. There we go. 
No, he's shifting around. It didn't quite work as planned. We've got the rake on him. Two combos, three combos. Oh, I forgot my fairy fire. Get that on him. That's better. Fairy fire just reduces his armor so much. Trying to get a rip. He's avoiding the rip. There's the rip. Okay. Little wild steel bloom there. Need to heal up. Might rebuff as well. Rebuff, rebuff, and time for a clamet surprise as well. Okay, now back to this cluster here. Hmm, not easy. Let's drop back into stealth and scoot around the outside edge. That guy there won't pull. I'm just going to come all the way around, all the way back here. Just to there. Come out of stealth. I'm going to pull that guy by himself. Okay, get the fairy fire on him. Claw, nice claw. Let's try and get the rake as well. Now we've got a rip, doing very well. Some big hits, I might have to pop out and moon fire him when he runs. He's really hitting me hard though. No, he's okay, he's just gonna... I might just chase him actually. Good. Gonna heal up, do a medium heal. Drop into prowl. Now just need to be mindful of all these guys here. on him already. Five combos into a rip. Might pull him back just a little bit further in case he runs. There we go. Very good. Nice and easy. I might even be able to get that chest. You know I've got my eye on that chest, don't you? Just not sure how close. Hmm. I don't think so, that guy's... I wonder if I can pull them separately. Oh, I did. Just got enough distance to pull them separately. That's great. Okay, so we'll go... Claw. Get some more combos on him. Need my energy to build up a little bit more. Going to the rip, five combo rip, claw, and he's done. Gonna heal up with a medium heal. Gonna pull that guy by distance, I think. Or moon fire, fairy fire, back into cat form. Low mana. Let's get the rake on him. I might innov innovate on myself to save me drinking. Okay, need to get a, a rip on him so when he runs, he bleeds out. Done. Okay, didn't do too badly there with the Akiris. Got a few bundles. We got the chest as well. Anything good? 
Alas, no. Nothing that special. I wonder if those guys are far enough away to pull them individually. Doesn't look like it, does it? Okay, I'm going to innovate myself. Pop up onto this ledge here. Have a little look around. guys. Open with a ravage. Oh, huge ravage. Straight into a fairy fire. Into a rake. No one's coming up the path. Into a rip. This fight's going to be pretty quick. Nice big claw. Got him on the ropes. Barely did any damage. I'm on a rend. Okay, another level 43. Let's see if I can come around behind him. Opens with a ravage into a fairy fire, into a rake, claw, claw. Let's pull him back a little bit. Get that claw, get the rake back on him. Go for a four combo rip on him. And just pause for a second. And now spamming claw. Plenty of bag space. Do a small heal, I think. Back into cat form. Might go down the hill. Level 43, very doable. Just gonna, oops, see if I can get wide around him. Very nice, rake. Fairy Fire, Claw, 5 combo points, get a rip going, back into a rake, let the energy build up a bit, and then when he runs we take him down with Claw. Perfect. Okay, small heal. Might go one more fight before I rebuff. Once again, I'm going to pull him with a moon fire, fairy fire, cat form. Get the rake if I can. Keeps dodging the rake. Tiger's fury for a bit more damage. Claw. It's a tough fight this one. My health is dropping quite a lot. Let's get another claw. Another rake. Let's get a... Maybe go for a bite to knock his health down. There we go. Going to do something a bit unorthodox this time. Going to heal up. There we go. And then when he comes back, I'm going to drop back into cat form. And I think one kill, one hit I mean, should be enough. Back into Prowl. That guy's 43. I said I'd rebuff, but I've changed my mind. I do that. And we're going to come... Let's see. Back around. What are you doing? It's a bit sort of shifty. Okay, let's have a little break. Moderate opener. Get the fairy fire on nice and quick. Four combos. Refresh the rake. Five combos straight into the rip. Then claw. Claw again. And then chase him. Okay, small heal. Just need four more Akiras. 
I'm getting used to saying Akira's now. Okay, I'm gonna pop out of cat form. And once again we'll do the ranged pull. So moon fire, resisted, fairy fire, drop into cat form. It's so hard they just start with such big damage on there in the fight. I'm gonna try Tiger's Fury. Get the rake back on him. Got four combos, gonna go for five and a bite in the hope that he'll run. And I might pop out. He might pull his friend, so I need to heal up. And get ready for that friend. No. I'm out of mana. He's gonna die from moonfire. Okay. That guy is 43, and drop into cat, and sneak around behind him, open with a ravage, rake, fairy fire, claw, claw again, refresh the rake on him, that's five combo points into a rip. If you will stop dodging my rip. There we go. Rip. Let the energy build up for when he runs. And then hit him with claw from behind. Great. Little mini heal. Drop back into cat. Back into prowl. Oh, actually, you know what? I'm going to pop out of this entirely going to innovate on myself of course and I'm going to rebuff is what I'm going to do okay that's enough innovation heal thorn um cast thorns over the clarity. Um, leave the food buff there for the moment. Okay, let's come around behind this guy. We're going to open with a ravage on him. Into a rake, into a fairy fire. Let's pull him away a little bit from his good friend over there. The rake back on him, got five combo points into a rip. Let the energy build up. And then claw him as he runs. In fact, I don't even think I need to heal from that fight. Okay, a little here. Fairy fire. Moon fire. Cat form. I'm trying to get the rake in there. The rejuvenate made a huge difference to my fight here. But it also is mana expensive as well to be rejuvenating every fight. No, he's dodging everything. There we go. Medium heal. Another 44. Just need to be mindful of my mana. I need enough to fire 295. It's a bit it's a bit iffy. Okay. We're gonna go moon fire, fairy fire, cat form. Reapply Verify in cat form, then rake. I think I don't need to apply Verify. I can do it in in my cat form. Okay, we've got four combos, five combos. We've got the rip on him now, so that's really good. 
and he's going to be toast. Got him on the run. Okay, Akiris is happening. Slowly but surely. Oh, this is another. I'm going to have to drink for this one. And I might actually eat a clam at surprise, why not? Refresh my food buff a bit. Okay, a little bit more mana. And then we're just going to pull with a fairy fire, I mean a moon fire, sorry. And then drop state into cat form. Now fairy fire, save me some mana. We've got two combos, three combos on him. Refresh the rake in a second, like now. Rake again, no claw, into a rip. This is slightly too close for comfort, but we're getting there. Big heal for this one. Those level 44s are painful. Okay, there's a 43. Let's see if we can start with the Ravage, my favourite opener. He's wandering around quite a bit. Just need to wait for him to stop. Nice. Open with a Ravage, straight into a Fairy Fire and a Rake. Another Claw. Claw again. Refresh the Rake. Claw into a Rip. Chase him down. Pop out. Throw a bit of a heal. Forty fours. A little bit tough. We'll start with a rejuve. We'll do moonfire. Drop into cat form. Fairy fire. Rake. Still got the rejuvenate ticking away, which is nice. Refresh the rake. Try and get five combos. Now we've got five. Go for the rip. We've got the rip as well now, it's looking good. Refresh the rake and let the energy build, he's going to run. Take him down. Okay, that's a pretty smooth fight. I'm going to open with a bit of a medium heal. Now this guy, we'll do the same strategy. I might just throw a rejuve. Moonfire. Yikes, that was a mistake. Too many moon fires. I used all my mana. That's a pot. A mana pot. Okay, we're back in the game now, though. His health is getting hammered away here. Four combos. Still four. Still four. Hit him with a bite. There we go. And we got, for our trouble, a leather belt, which is also nice. And we've got all the Akiris we need. Let's have a look at that belt. Very nice. Intellect and spirit. I like my strength belt. Okay. I think it's time to head back to Booty Bay and hand in Akiris by the bundle. How should we do this? Let's just sprint along the foreshore here. And then we'll prowl. Or I could swim across, maybe. Maybe I'll swim. Why not? It's the joy of being a druid at the end of the day. We'll swim underwater. Let's have a look at all the bits and pieces. 
I feel like I looted a lot of these big mouth clams. Lots of zesty clam meat, which I think sells quite well. Lots and lots and lots of clam meat. Ooh, I got two black pearls. I'm hoping they sell for a, a handsome sum. Let's put all the junk up here. Getting ready to send, sell it all at a vendor. Lots of Naga scales. Not sure if I really, if Naga scales sell that well. Strangle of flying pages. They do sell, but they're a bit hidden this way. Okay. Let's hand the quest in. Actually, maybe I'll just repair first. With Jutek. Naga scales. Yeah, I'll keep them for the time being. Okay. I put some stuff in my bank as well. Oh, it's the um, Master Angler fishing contest is on today. Fish bot. Let's go down here to Privateer Blades, interestingly. And in this quest. Bring the Arrakis bundle to Thermo. Okay. Not a long journey. So let's put some of the raw materials that we've gathered into the bank. Some of the things that I'll sell later as well. Put those into the bank. Sell them later. Fade leaf. That's great. Cleared up a lot of bag space. Sell that as well. Sell that. We'll sell that later. Okay, thank you again for joining me on this little adventure. Jack Jack making good progress into level 41. Thanks to those Nagas. Please feel free to like and subscribe. And join me again next time. And as usual, your comments are very welcome. Bye for now.